So I wanted to give a little bit more information on the change of sign method, just to kind of make sure that you're fully clear on those uh, different cases that you can have. Now, I've highlighted that when we are explaining whether there is a change of sign, okay, there has to be those two bits, change of sign and the curve is continuous. Okay, If you don't have one of those two things, then you can have all sorts of situations appear. Okay, so let's first of all think about um, that initial diagram that I had. Um, you can have a change of sign and it's continuous and you can have one root. Okay, so we had this situation where we could have the curve looking like this and so there is this one root in between. Okay, one positive, one negative, fine. Can you draw a situation where there would be two roots? Okay, where you've got a change of sign, the curve is continuous, and there are two roots. Okay, well, you'd have to have something that looks like this. It would have to touch the curve once and then uh, come back on itself and through the x axis. So you can have two roots. So that means you could also have three roots, so one, two, three. Or you could have four, or five, or six, or seven, okay? So if the curve uh, has a change of sign and is continuous, uh, you will have at least one root. That's what I've tried to, I'm trying to explain, okay? So what happens then when one of those bits of information isn't there? Okay, so let's say we don't have a change of sign. What happens then? Does that mean that there are no roots? That's the question. So you could have that the curve does something like this. So there is no change of sign, but the curve is continuous. Okay, um, but there are no roots. You could have that the curve is continuous, there is no change of sign, but there are roots, like that. Both of them positive, the curve is continuous, but there are roots, okay? So it's not saying that if you don't have one of those things, that there are no roots. It's just that you don't know, okay? Likewise, if the, there was a change of sign, but the curve is discontinuous, we saw an example of this where you could have an asymptote down the middle, and so you've got something that looks like this. There is a change of sign, okay, but there is no root in between those two points. So these cases here are showing you that if you don't have both of those bits covered, where you've got the continuity and the change of sign, you could have no roots, you could have more than one root. You just don't know, okay? But if you have both of those facts covered, then you have at least one. And that's how the change of sign method can be implemented.